Hi Gators, it's Mrs. Atkinson reporting from my kitchen table. Welcome to my house. I wish we were all together at Pole Green. I wish I could see all of you right now. Um, but as it is, we are stuck in the home. So I've been trying to think of some um, creative outlets for us. So today we are going to try our hand at some Zen Tangles. Zen Tangles is a type of drawing, not to be confused with a doodle, but we could say doodle. Um, a Zen Tangle is an unplanned drawing. There is no right or wrong, there's no up or down, and you can use probably anything you have in your house. I have a piece of paper. You can use a pencil, a pen, crayon marker, color pencil. Um, typically, they should be black and white. I am going to use my favorite, a Sharpie. But you need to ask if there are Sharpies in the home, if you're allowed to use a Sharpie, where you can use a Sharpie, because. I have lots of Sharpie rules at my house, but I asked and I'm allowed to use a Sharpie. So to start a Zentangle, I am going to flip the camera and we can get started by drawing a square. All right, so for my Zentangle, um, technically it should be a three and a half inch square. I'm not gonna measure and I am just gonna draw a square. You could use the entire paper. If you're brave, it's gonna take a long time. There are lots of variations. You could draw something like a cat or a circle. You don't have to be technically perfect about it. And this is just kind of an intro. So I'm gonna draw a square, and then you draw something called a string. It can be a curvy line, it can be zigzaggy, whatevs. The next thing I need to do is try to draw my tangle. The tangle is just a bunch of simple shapes, some lines, pattern, design. I'm gonna start off with my string and maybe I am going to just start with some lines. I am drawing through my iPhone screen, so don't judge. But the cool thing about it is in tangle, like I said before, there's no right or wrong. There's no up or down and no erasing. That's why I'm using a Sharpie so I'm not tempted to erase. All of you perfectionists out there, my son included, don't get upset. Remember our Bob Ross, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. So Zentangles are also a fun mindless thing to do, but they are also something that is a good practice for not being perfect because I'm definitely not, nobody is. You can start with some different kind of shapes. I could start with some pattern. You know, I love me some scales. And I did say that Zentangles are mindless, but again, they're not supposed to be mindless. A doodle is mindless, a Zentangle is deliberate. But for the sake of this video, I am just having fun. If you make a mistake, turn it into something else. You can try lines. Remember we have curvy lines, wavy. We can do zigzag. And a Zentangle is not supposed to represent anything. So I am just keeping it simple. And I am gonna fill, sorry, I had a little interruption. Parents, you know how that is. But again, I am keeping it simple. And just kind of doing whatever comes to my mind. Like that. So no crying, no fussing, no getting upset. It doesn't look right. It's not supposed to look like anything. You should be able to turn it however you want. There's no up or down. When you feel like you're done, whoa, hey there. Oh, by the way, looky there. Always put a piece of paper under you. In my case, I have a stack of paper under me so that you don't get any on the table. But again, if you're allowed to use Sharpie, then that's probably one of the Sharpie rules at your house. All right, so one option is that I could take some colored pencils, I could color it in, I could get crayons, markers, I could just leave it, I could start a new one, 
Or like I said before, I could make a drawing and I could fill it in the Zentangles. I'm thinking about making like an Easter egg Zentangle or a cat. So I would love it if you, let me flip you so I can see you or you can see me. All right, so like I said, you could fill all that in with marker, crayon, colored pencil, you could just leave it, you could make some more. I think I am going to make another one, but I think I'm gonna draw an Easter egg and kind of get out of the Zentangle realm a little bit, maybe fill it in the Zentangles, maybe a cat. So if you could, I would love it if you made a Zentangle or 10 or whatever, and post them in the comments. Let me see what you're working on. If you don't wanna do a Zentangle, maybe there's something else you've been working on. I would love to see what kind of artwork that you've been creating. We've been working hard with sidewalk chalk at our house. So, Gator, Gators, I miss you and I hope to see you very soon. Please post your comments and your pictures so I can see your cute little faces. All right, bye, thank you.